Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. We'll talk more about the hurricane in just a second. In the meantime, uh, beautiful weather continues across New England and another cool night in the works with temperatures already dropping through the 50s. Skies are clear in Providence right now. It's 61, upper 50s to around 60 in most locations. But once again, like so many late nights and early mornings, Taunton leading the pack with chilly temps already down to 49 degrees. A few patchy clouds overhead right now looking at... Um, Clearing skies essentially across southeastern Massachusetts. Otherwise, you've got a lot of clear weather all across the northeast right now, courtesy of high pressure, uh, Canadian high pressure building in. It's going to keep things good really through at least Monday, Tuesday of next week. By Wednesday, we'll be watching an offshore storm system to see how close it comes. In the meantime, we'll head down into the uh, Gulf of Mexico, and this is Category 4 major hurricane Harvey getting real close. Uh, not often that you see a uh, wet well-developed uh, eye. You can see it officially making landfall now near Port O'Connor, still with winds of 130 miles per hour. We can uh, get in real close and kind of fly you right into uh, the eye of the storm. And you can see this concentric eye. It's about 20, 25 miles in diameter. And the real strong wind is located right around the periphery of the eye. It's called the eye wall. That's where the winds are gusting at. Last check, um, right in here between 125 and 130. 30 uh, miles per hour, so still Category 4 strength. And with that, the wind is pushing the water towards the coastline. That is called a storm surge. A Category 2 hurricane has a storm surge up to 8 feet. As the wind speed increases, the surge increases as well. You get to a Category 3 status, you're up to a 12-foot storm surge. You see that ocean water being pushed towards the coastline. We're at a Category 4 storm, which means we're talking about a surge that could be as high as 18 feet as all this water starts to pile up along the coastline this evening and uh, during the overnight hours. We actually have uh, computer models that can uh, predict or project the, uh, the height of the storm surge. So here's the location of the storm right now, and the circulation around it is such that you're getting the strong onshore wind piling up the water towards the coastline. So the, the strength of the storm, uh, the direction of the wind, the strength of the wind, the geography of the coastline, it all plays a part in how the storm surge behaves. And you can see these areas in orange and red and some of these inlets near the uh, barrier beaches talking about a surge anywhere from 15 to almost 19 feet that is catastrophic and uh, we had a similar surge about 13 14 feet during the 1938 hurricane coming up Narragansett Bay so one of the devastating parts of this storm the storm surge and then also the amazing amount of rain that's going to fall unfortunately over the next several days you can see all this tropical moisture spinning around the Doppler radar and this is going to spin pretty much in the same area four or five days and the net result is just prolific rainfall totals with extreme flooding uh, totals maybe anywhere from uh, 25 to almost Almost 30 inches in some areas now through a Tuesday of next week because of the slow movement of the storm. Latest from the National Hurricane Center, winds 130, gusts to 160 uh, miles per hour. The storm located now right on the, uh, the Texas coast. And notice the movement of the projected path over the next three to five days, pretty much milling around, doing a loop in the same spot. And the reason why the rainfall totals will be extreme. Fortunately, closer to home, our weather is quiet, a very cool start tomorrow morning at sunrise, but mainly sunny, looking at temperatures in the 50s initially, then going to the 60s to eventually mid-70s tomorrow afternoon. Very dry, comfortable day. The beaches look good both Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures in the uh, mid-70s with plenty of sunshine. Seven-day future cast. Quiet weather continues through Tuesday. We're going to have to watch the Wednesday time frame closely as a tropical system tropical storm? We don't know yet, but maybe trying to form off the Carolina coastline. So stay tuned on that. For now, we have Wednesday dry with temperatures that'll be in the middle 70s. WPRI.com for the latest information on this storm overnight right on through tomorrow. All right. Thank you very much, Tony. Coming up